Today, we'll talk about the Magnus effect and what variables have an influence in this phenomenon. As we can observe, when throwing an object horizontally, it describes a parabolic trajectory. But, what would happen if we threw a cylindrical object and it had a rotation of its own? The answer to this question will be the Magnus effect. When a static cylindrical body is present within a fluid stream, the magnitude of the wind velocity is evenly distributed on the upper and lower surfaces of the body. On the other hand, when the cylindrical body is in full rotation, the distribution of the speed changes depending on the direction of the body rotation. As we can see in this picture, the fluid flow is in the same direction as the rotation of the cylinder in the upper side. Therefore, there is a minimum amount of drag and its speed is greater. And taking in consideration the Bernoulli theorem, when the speed increases, there are a pressure decrease. But in the lower side, the fluid flow is against the cylinder rotation, which generates a greater drag in this area, thus decreasing the speed, increasing the pressure. This pressure difference generates a force perpendicular to the fluid flow direction. The following video shows an experiment that was performed to show the Magnus effect. To perform the experiment, we only need a basketball ball. The experiment consists in throwing the ball from a very high distance. Once we find ourselves in that place, the ball needs to be thrown with rotation in favor of the direction of the airflow. First, the ball is thrown without rotating to show that its fall is in a straight line. Then, the ball is thrown again, adding a rotation of its own. And we can see how the Magnus effect is present because of how the ball is elevated while following its trajectory. 